The D man. Yeah, shout out my nigga from D's Media. You feel me? <laughs> we jumped in the expedition. We was on our way to the gas station when the FaceTime Juke let them know that they was out work. Who FaceTime Juke? Just had FaceTime Juke. We was spilling out dope. You know what I'm saying? Let them know that we did it. And let's back that up. You say, let him know it was y'all's work. <clears throat> right. Uh, you said you spelled, somebody spelled out dog. Who yeah. spelled out dog? Just spelled out dog. When you say spelled out, short call, long call? It was short. short. Uh, did you hear Jook say anything back? Yeah, he'll, he'll get with us when he get done with the kids, like get up one of them. He'll get with y'all when... Yo, it's your boy D's Media back again with another video. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel on the road to 100K. Today we're gonna to talk about one of the uh, one of the uh, the guys that was accused of taking Young Dolph out. Uh, he pretty much cooperated with the state and he gave the whole story. And also, man, people that didn't know that Young Dolph brother uh, uh, fired back and he hit both of them. Um, let's jump straight into it. Uh, pretty much, man, it's two people that's being accused. Um, is uh, Mr. Johnson and Mr. Smith. Um, Mr. Johnson is uh, straight drop. Uh, pretty much the other guy that pretty much that had the Drake, uh, he pretty much uh, told the whole story. He said pretty much, man, that, you know, uh, Big Juke offered offered a uh, hundred thousand in a record deal if they do that to Dolph. And they pretty much was trying to get some money. Uh, he said pretty much, um, you know, they had to drop on where he was at and they pretty much pulled up on him and they started letting that thing loose. He uh, told prosecutors who he was. He said that he was the one with the Drake. And he said that Straight Drop was the one with the baseball cap, which everybody figured that out on the internet months. I mean, probably close to a year ago. We all figured that out. But uh, he pretty much um, also um, one of the things that he was saying was that uh, on the way that they was trying to get up out of there, they realized that Dolph Brother, you know, was hitting that thing back. And if anybody go watch the video, you know, Dolph Brother opened the uh, open Dolph door and grabbed the, uh, what looked like a salt rifle. And he started firing back at the white Mercedes Benz, you know. So luckily, you know, uh, Dolph Brother didn't, you know, he didn't take anybody out. But, you know, he did what any brother would try to do at that moment. You know, your brother hit up, you know, he did what he could do. You know, um, I feel like Dolph got to take some responsibility in that. You know, being what you worth and being how far you came from the streets of Memphis, I felt like you should have been moving a little bit more better. Um, if Doc probably would have had about five to eight dudes, they probably would have rethought doing that to Doc. But because they knew it was Doc and another dude and they pretty much caught him lacking, you know, they felt like that that was the perfect time to do it. And you got to think somebody telling you $100,000, you know what I'm saying? So it's like... Somebody telling you $100,000 and a record deal to make more money, you know, that's an opportunity a lot of people in the hood would have took. But if it would have been five, if Dolph would have had about five to eight more people with him, they probably would have rethought about probably doing that to Dolph because they barely made it away with just Dolph and his brother. So if Dolph would have had about five to eight more people, I think, you know, the, 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 the shoe probably would have been on the other foot, you know. Um, but and also another thing that he confirmed you know, he confirmed that, uh, you know, they contacted Big Juke and that Big Juke, you know, um, was uh, sent that bread, you know. So it's, 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 it's proven, man, that if, 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 if your Gotti brother was alive, Big Juke, he'll be charged in this, you know, because this guy just laid the whole thing out. You know, he laid the whole game, the game plan out. You know, he laid out the motive. You know, the motive was Big Juke didn't like, God, I mean, Big Juke didn't like Dolph. You know, we all know for what reason he dissed him in the songs. You know, he was going at his brother, all types of stuff. You know, they had incidents uh, in Memphis. They didn't have incidents in Cali. Um, and we all know that, you know, Big Juke didn't like Dolph, you know. And pretty much, man, you know, he found somebody that was close to Dolph. If anybody remembers, Straight Drop was in Dolph camp, you know. And that's let you know, man, how you got to be careful out here because you will be playing chess. and a lot, I mean, checkers and a lot of these dudes will be playing chess. And he found somebody that was close to him that, that knew where he'd be at, probably had a contact on where he was at at the time because you got to think, how was it just mysteriously that they knew he was at that cookie place? They had to have some type of info that was going to be there. Yeah, of course, the car, but you telling me you just mysteriously just riding past the cookie place and you seen him? No, they knew he was there, you know? And when they seen that he wasn't with that many people, they took advantage of the opportunity, you know? 
But like I say, man, Dolph got to take responsibility for that too, man. Whether if it was some jealous, hating stuff, the reason why they put a bounty on him or not, but he had to take responsibility for that because that was moving too reckless, man. You worth millions of dollars. You got a rival beef with a dude that got money and connections just like you, you know, and, and you was moving around, you and your brother, even though, you know, he did what he did. You know, he did hit straight drop and the other dude, you know, they said it in plain, he said it in plain court, you know, um, so his brother did what he did, man. But if, if, if Big Juke was alive, man, he would definitely be getting charged with a uh, conspiracy, uh, definitely conspiracy and definitely uh, murder, uh, probably murder for hire for sure. Because it's he, they just said in the plain court that they, they, they called Big Facetime Big Jip after it, man, and <laughs> to get their money, man. Big Jip, lucky he ain't here, man. Cause I'm trying to tell you, man. But they ain't say Gotti, but they definitely been throwing Big Jip name around. But Gotti, lucky man, he just escaped one. Cause if that dude would have said Yo Gotti at all, Gotti will be getting charged. But apparently they trying to say that. You know, the dude trying to say that it was just Big Juke, you know. But it's your boy D's Media signing out. But my condolences go out to Young Dolph, man. But rest in peace to Dolph, man. But you just got to be careful who you keep around you, man, you know. He had straight drop around him for whatever reason. And apparently, you know, this dude couldn't wait no more. You know, he around Dolph who got millions of dollars. But at the end of the day, he wanted to snake him out for 100000 in the record deal. When you walking around with this man, chains on. In his videos, you ain't you driving his cars, all of that. But I guess that wasn't enough for straight drop. But it's your boy D's Media signing out. The D, man. Yeah, shout out my nigga from D's Media, you feel me? <laughs>